Uh, so I'll stand up if I'm to do this. Uh, my name's Omar. Um, I've been involved in this campaign uh, probably from the beginning. Uh, I've lived in my house, uh, which is in Withenshaw, for 17 years. Uh, my children sort of went to college and um, to university from there, and so I'm now in a, uh, what's regarded as a three-bedroom house living on my own. And, and that, uh, according to what's happening, means I should move out into a smaller place. Um, I've been suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder for quite a number of years, and that has uh, specific effects on um, my emotional well-being, basically. Uh, it's an extremely distressing thought to have to move from where I'm living. Uh, I can't actually, my children all live in London, and I can't actually get accommodation in London. And one, it would be too expensive to go to London. Uh, my local landlord has offered to dump most of my stuff uh, because I'm in a three-bedroom house and it wouldn't fit into a one-bedroom flat or even into a two-bedroom flat on a tip uh, and to give my furniture, what, such as I've got left, um, to a, a local charity, which would, you know, could then be given away. Because I, because I don't need my uh, possessions and I don't need my memories. And, uh, uh, one, of, one of the effects of post-traumatic stress disorder, which I've suffered from, and anxiety, is I actually suffer from uh, immediate memory loss and short-term memory loss. I've got my, my long-term memory is, is pretty good. Um, but when I'm extremely stressed, I sometimes can't even remember the next word that I'm going to say. Um, some of my friends here have often wondered why I've not spoken or not made speeches very often, and that's basically one of the, one of the reasons I haven't done it. Uh, one of the other things that I'm going to be extremely stressed about is when I've been uh, offered these one or two bedroom places, uh, as somebody else has already said, uh, it means you have to have your pets put down because most of them say you can't have a pet. Uh, I have a dog, she's very elderly, she's probably near to dying, but I am being put into a position of having to put her down. And that is creating absolute torment mm -hmm. um, with me. Uh, because she is the only thing left in my home, you know, who I go home to, who I care about. And uh, so, yeah, I, I just think, you know, my, my human rights are affected in lots of different ways, both health-wise. Um, other places where I'm being offered as well, I'm being offered um, a one-year, um, uh, I'm not sure what the, what, what the term is, but I'm, I've got security of tenure. I've been in, in my property for 17 years. I have absolute security of tenure, but I'm being told I can, I, if I move to somewhere else, I will be on a one-year conditional yeah. contract. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've got that in writing off a number of people because I've actually gone through the processes of applying and talking to other people about home swaps and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I have from other landlords that in writing that they are saying to me, I only have a one year um, conditional uh, tenancy. So um, that's me, thank you.